I am issuing a state of an emergency for New York City uh, based on the weather conditions. And I want to say to all New Yorkers, uh, this is time for heightened alertness and extreme caution. Uh, if you are home, stay home. If you are at work or school, shelter in place for now. Uh, some of our subways are flooded and it's extremely difficult to move around the city. Uh, many of our area airports are experiencing delays. Uh, and if you are out and encounter a flood, a flooded area, uh, be it on a roadway or a subway station, uh, do not enter. Take necessary precaution. Well, this is a dangerous weather condition, and it is not over. And I don't want uh, those gaps and heavy rain to give the appearance that it is over. It is not. We could possibly see eight inches of rain before the day is over. Our city is already taking action to protect all New Yorkers, including uh, rescuing those in need of help. There was an issue on uh, the Belt Parkway by the Ocean Parkway exit. Uh, those are the types of roadway conditions we're asking New Yorkers to avoid. There have been significant disruptions, without a doubt, uh, particularly heading north. I just spoke to the county executive, George Latimer, of Westchester County. The epicenter has shifted from the city regions, very much so, from Brooklyn and Queens and Manhattan, where I spoke to the borough presidents to offer our assistance in the Bronx, but is now heading north into the Hudson Valley. So we're also coordinating with those localities as well as Nassau County. Uh, I will say this, if people decide to venture out in a vehicle, they do so at their own peril because even six inches of rain, one foot of rain, it may look pretty innocuous, it's safe, but that is a condition where your vehicle can be swept away and we lose more lives of people during flooding events, of which we've had many, especially this summer in the city, in the Hudson Valley in particular. The reason people lose their lives in a flood event, more often than not, is they're swept away in their vehicles. So this is a choice people make. We encourage them not to decide to do that. Please uh, stay home, be safe. We'll, uh, we are deploying more buses. We have more bus operators to be able to create uh, options if we don't get the subways back on schedule. The airports uh, right now, Terminal A at LaGuardia is closed because of flooding at a fuel field right now. We brought in more resources from JFK to assist with that as well. Uh, the flights are going in and out of the airports, but they are delayed. And so people should check on uh, the websites for that as well. Now, also, we're trying to be as helpful as we can. The city mayor, you've been fantastic. We've deployed National Guard. We've deployed uh, more pumps from our surplus to help you assist. And everyone remembers what happened, I was literally governor one week when Hurricane Ida hit and we walked those streets of Queens and many parts of the city and people literally drowned in their basement homes. And so people also need to not get in vehicles, but leave your home if you're starting to see water accumulate. Don't wait until it's up to your knees or higher. 